The use of language is determined by the user's setting and the user's context. This phenomenon has been studied and analyzed by Dr. Montano Harmon of California State University at Fullerton. In her study, she has recognized what she called different registers of communications. She has determined that there are five distinct language registers. We can refer to these registers as levels of diction. These levels exist in both oral and written expressions. <clears throat> For example, the language that is employed between a child and a parent is much different from the language used by two attorneys. Not only will the vocabulary be different, but also their tones, styles, purposes, and expressions. The five language registers or levels of diction include one, static, also known as the frozen register, two, the formal register, three, the consultative or professional register, four, the casual or the group register, and finally, the personal or intimate register. These language registers govern not only the types of conversations or writings that we have, but they also influence the relationships that we have as well. For example, it is perfectly appropriate for a boyfriend to have a personal or intimate language register conversation with his girlfriend. However, it is not appropriate for a teacher to have an intimate or personal language register conversation with the same person. Likewise, in academic essays, it is inappropriate to use the casual language register complete with its slang and informalities. This level of diction that we use for communicating within our own social circles is inappropriate to the standards of academic writing. The writer must raise the tone of the paper to meet the standards which are dictated by the consultative or formal registers. The static register is a style of communication that rarely or is frozen in time and in content. Examples of this would be the Pledge of Allegiance, the Lord's Prayer, the U.S. Constitution, the alma mater of the school, the bibliographic format of the style sheet, laws. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands formal settings in this one-way nature. This use of language usually follows a commonly accepted format. It is usually impersonal and formal. Examples of this would be speeches, sermons, lectures, rhetorical statements and questions, uh, pronouncements made by judges, announcements. also known as the professional register. Users of this level of diction use a commonly accepted level of professional discourse and behavior. It is formal and there are many societal expectations for its users. This is the language of professionals. It also governs the speech between strangers when they first meet. It is the speech between a doctor and a patient, a student and a teacher, a client and a lawyer. Casual register is also known as the group register. 
This is informal speech that is used by peers and friends. The regulars in their life. This is group housing. One must be a member of the group to engage in this register. For example, by the teammates, chatting, along with letters to friends, are considered The intimate register is communication that is meant to be private. It is reserved for close family members. It is speech that takes place between a husband and wife, a boyfriend and girlfriend, between siblings, parents and children, or best friends. There is a rule for language use. One can usually transition from one language register to an adjacent one without encountering repercussions. However, skipping one or more levels is usually considered inappropriate and even offensive. For example, people are used to working in the consultative or professional register like teachers and students cannot switch to the private or intimate register without violating societal norms. Likewise, a husband and wife who usually communicate with the private register cannot switch to the formal register without the other feeling insulted. One of them cannot begin to lecture the other one without insult. Simply put, language registers are levels of diction. These levels involve tone, purpose, vocabulary, and expectations.